Hi, it's Trina again. Let's go ahead and talk really quickly about what a great time saver slide masters are. Slide masters allow you to create a layout once and then apply that layout to any slide in your project. So here I am, I'm back in my paleontology project and you can see that I've now added some custom navigation buttons here to my project as well as a little footer bar. Um, this is looking like a really nice layout and I think I'd like to use this again in my project. Um, so what I could do is copy and paste all of these elements onto a new slide, or I could get really smart <laughs> and go up to the slide master and create this layout once and then just reapply it to my project as needed. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on the view menu and click on slide master. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on insert layout because I know I wanna create something totally custom versus trying to adapt an existing layout. So I'm just gonna go in here and start applying some of the formatting that I know my project needs. I'm just gonna change up the font here, maybe pop that up a little bit bigger, and then I'll draw my footer here real quick. And make sure there's no outline on that. And then let's go ahead and insert some buttons for our navigation. So here's one. I'll add this nice little outline here so it stands out and we'll make this a previous button. And then we'll just copy and paste that and do a next button. And then we can just grab these both and we can go up here to the align and make sure that they're aligned to the middle. Looking good. And if I want to, I could add a little shadow to them, whatever works for my project. And then from here, I just wanna go ahead and take a moment to adjust these triggers. So this one is already set to jump to the next slide, which is what I'd like, but let's change this one. I'm pretty sure we need to change that to previous slide. So let's go up here and grab that. And now those buttons will always work for navigating to the next or previous slide throughout my project. So that's really nice. Um, and then one of the things that I really liked about the, um, the menu layout that I put together is that it was nice to have everything kind of segmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert some picture placeholders to make building out my next custom menu a tiny bit easier. So I know from prior experience that I want these to be about 128 pixels by 128 pixels because they were nicely spaced at that size. So I just went ahead and gave that a quick little manual adjustment and I'll format the font and everything. So if I type in here, I can have that all ready to go too. And then once I'm set, I can go ahead and just duplicate as many of these as I need on my slide. And then I can deal with getting them all lined up. And I think this will be a really nice little time saver. arrow keying these around and there we go. Let's go ahead and sort of move those up a little bit. We'll distribute these so that they're nice and even. I'm just going up to the align and distribute horizontally and then We'll get all of these lined up so that they're all, there we go, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And now when I go and insert a new slide, one of my options is that new custom layout I created. So I can just click insert, and now I can start dropping in my images. So let's say I wanna do one on paleontology tools for the field. And I can start inserting all of my images. And you can see that my work's gonna go pretty quickly and then I can make my next click and reveal interaction. Um, working with slide masters is such a big uh, time saver. I really think you'll like it and I hope that you'll try it out in one of your next projects too. Thanks.